So, uh, we had no land, we've, we've been out, we've got one to go back to for August, but we've just scored a massive one. It's so big, he's had to give us a map of half the Blumen County. We've got hundreds and hundreds of acres. Been told it's been done before, but that didn't put us off. And look, just come through that gate. I've never seen a patina on one of these like that. That's absolute. That's lovely, isn't it, mate? WG, hold it like that, Sid, and let me hear it. He's on the Brumming Crotal Bells! Well Look done, Sid. That, boy, well done. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> Sid's got uh, what we think is a hammer deer, guys. I ain't got nothing yet, but I've got this permission with him, so I'm happy. Yeah, let's have a look then. Yeah, there it is, look. Yeah, yeah. and it looks, it looks, doesn't look run of the mill to me, this. Oh, oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's on my mega bucket list, I ain't had one yet. I've had two. No, oh, look at that. Oh look. my God, Sid. That, it's a minter. It's an absolute minter. To have this come up on the land we've just What's got, that, mate. Come? the detail on that oh my god come on, I have tuppence let's have a look at this side oh it's mint mate. both sides it's mint oh my god and show my camera mint we're on the mint commonwealth man oh my god they don't come up like that very often <laughs> <laughs> I've never oh. had one in mind oh my not even had a grotty one yet oh my days oh loving it can't wait to get this new knocked the impact out <laughs> on these fields. That's deep. Oh, it's about seven inches that was. Let's just check the hole. It's absolute pearl out of a oh. Commonwealth. You don't see no. Commonwealth coins like this. Not like that. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, got quite a deep signal. Well, it was quite a. It's about seven inches, and um, it banged out though on the razor too because it's quite big. I'll give it a wipe, it's a shoe buckle. Okay, just a shoe buckle. My first, own second find of the day. This is something I didn't show yet. Uh, that's a, a bit of a worn out uh, livery button I found on the surface on that first field today. Okay guys, I got a fairly solid signal. Uh, but it surprised me how deep it was. It's a full depth for the pinpointer. And it's come out at 9 inches. It's looking like silver 1874 or something. So let's discover it together, eh? Oh, yeah, it's a lovely shilling. Lovely Vicky shilling, kids. Eighteen seventy two. It's not a Commonwealth, but it's my first silver on this new permission. And it's only my third time out with this new racer two and it's had four silvers, one of them being a hammy, two shillings. Racer two, silver machine. Right guys, Sid's on it again with this Scottish, I think it's sixteen oh one. And uh, yeah, it's Scottish, it's a hammered, and we'll get a hammy dance off Sid soon, but not just yet, not kids. Not just yet, I'm going to do the super hammy dance. I think we might do it Nike. If I get, if I get another one, I'm going to do it in the, in the nude. Woohoo! Nike dammy dance! You can leave your fines pouch on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just put your pray pointer in front of it. <laughs> That's a very old bottle there, by the looks of it. Signal's just there. It's not much of a signal. I'll find out what it is. Unfortunately, this old bottle's broke. That's the line of it there. It's good to know that some seriously old stuff's in the ground, though. See what the signal is and see what the rest of that bottle looks like, or vessel. Well, the signal turned out to just be a bit of rubbish. But looking at the pontil mark on this bottle, look. That could be from the mid-1600s, that bottle, 1700s. 
it's old I tell you that much for your average bottle anyway good sign just a bit gutted that it's only part of one but still nice to see really cool stuff like that in your fields especially a new permission okay we come off that nice little pasture where Sid's just had the two hammies the croak one I got the shilling and uh, this is just one he's got countless fields around here he's had to give us a a map the farmer of the whole little township and uh, we've got 70% of the field around it. A bit of foil in this field but and, and to some people this might, might not look much but I've seen these come back I did as uh, part of a Roman bronze vessel there. so let's hope this one and he said Roman archaeology, the farmer, was discovered on some of his fields. So I'm hoping that is a part of a Roman bronze vessel. And we just need to find the coins now. Over that, did he break his neck, look? Right, guys, we're winding down. It's nearly six o'clock and I can't go and pick Rachel up till that past six. I mean, so they're both knackered. So the detecting gods have given me something I haven't had to dig because I'm a bit tired now. It's literally on the surface. More jam than I reckon the early milled. Little uh, sixpence. Oh, it's not early mould, but it's a sixpence. I'll take it. It's still early mould. <laughs> it's not that early, mate. I was hoping for Queen Anne or something. <laughs> oh, was it's... it 1920s or was it? Who is he? Oh, he's George, one of them. George V or sixth. It's the uh, little lion. Oh, well, that'll do. I'll take. I've had a double, double silver day. Happy yeah. days, that is, mate. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, you puff. I'll take that, Sid. Okay, kids, I've had my double silver. It's all down to this lemon drizzle cake that Sid Tacton bought. Got him on his double hammies, his Commonwealth, his Scottish. So get your cake on and get on the silver. Gotta get the lemon drizzle cake, on it, mate. Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, Hamlet. That's not what it is with the lemon drizzle cake, though. Get you on. Get your cake on, on a lemon drizzle cake. Get your lemon drizzle cake on. What's that sound, my back, Steve? Tacked and Sid on the Ammies. He's on the Ammies, then, eh? Ammies! Ne? Ammies! Ne? Ammies! Hey! Ammies! Ammies! He loves the hat. Look at us in the puddles. We're on the Woohoo! Commonwealth. <laughs> Hammy. We're loving the hammies. Yes, have it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, he ain't been out for, it seems like, months. But uh, Rob, yet again, he's knocked it out the park. And uh, we're with Clint as well this morning. And Carol. And uh, for reasons we won't go into, we'll call this the pre-op rally. And uh, we're going to smash it for you. All right. Pre-ops. Pre-ops. The pre-ops pre there. Rob's getting his gash done. And I'm on the racer too, so we'll see what we can pull off. Well, this field's produced a lot of coins, but uh, four or five of us have been on it a few times. I got a penny as soon as I stepped on over there in an area where I knew I'd done a lot of. Uh, and I just said to Carol, well, if there's coppers and that that we've missed, maybe one of us, maybe we've missed some silver. Well, this is silver. Seen better days. See the portrait there, though? Very, very worn, round about William III era. You know. I have to get my books out and see if that, that rings a bell, that ghost of a portrait. It's pretty shot on the other side. Okay, on the silver, on second signal, on a worked out dais field with the macro racer too. Just so good to be back out beeping. Not been out for about two weeks. And this is part of what I love. You can hear the running water. You can hear the sheep. And the shooting over there, sights and sounds, sights and sounds of ye old countryside. And I'm on the silver, and I'm on the macro racer too, and I think I'm a pirate. 
on the blooming pirate kids out in the countryside beeping away okay guys got a bit of an iffy choppy signal but i hadn't had a signal for a while so i dug this and uh, it's part of uh, a buckle that it's got a nice pattern around it could be as early as 1600s only a buckle fragment piece but you know and it's a bit like giving it the finger in it giving the finger to adversity that's what that is all right lads guys and girls on the race of two all right kids just taking time out in the field you got to chill occasionally lovely day i ain't been out because uh, I was, I had that cold that was going around the other week. That was all right, and uh, yeah, I just ain't been out. But back out with, uh, and now I'm looking for the uh, treble silver for the day. So I've been out twice with this machine. The first time I got this particular racer two, I had a hammered coin. Second time out, I've had a silver shilling, even though it's worn, and half a silver bangle. And uh, yeah, I always do well with a new machine. Hopefully, we'll be on the gold soon, kids. We'll be on the gold. Yellow specks of uh, gold destiny. So I'm going to chill. Hopefully, I'll catch you soon with my third silver. All right. Okay, I was just swinging along with the racer. And this little thing galloped out the hole at me. It's got a little hole itself on the top there where... No doubt a little lead cavalry geezer would have um, sat atop this horse. Unfortunately, I don't think he'll be winning any more races. <laughs> Where's me blooming legs? Dog ass. Lead horse, kids. Lead horse. Late 1800s, probably. Early 1900s. Okay guys, I'm just catch, catching up with uh, Lee who's uh, swinging his e-track today, he's had it a few weeks. And that there in the middle, that's uh, George III Bullard Shilling, it's well worn. I got the lead horse a minute ago and uh, Lee's had the lead soldier. My horse is missing its legs, his soldier's missing its head. <laughs> so if anyone finds them, hit me up on Messenger. And we've got a really fun, funky little squirrel brooch. I've never dug a squirrel before, so thumbs up, Lee. Well done on the uh, bullhead and the uh, cheeky squirrel. And like I say, he's uh, he's pulling it up with his e-track today. Okay, I'm just catching up with Carol. And um, the last couple of times we've been up on these fields, lead tokens and some other old similar stuff has come up. Hasn't been on today. I'm, We've only got another half hour or so to go and Carol's just popped this one right on the path where we've we've all done before. It just goes to show Carol on the medieval tokens and uh, everyone missed that one. Is that, is that your best find today? Yeah, I think it is. Well, at least you got something anyway. Yeah, not too bad. Keep going. Got another half hour yet. Okay, I was just mooching around the base of that tree. That's the old there, uh, look. And, uh I had a rotted out copper and then I got this look guys and believe it or not I haven't had a lot of these so it ain't got a pattern on but it's better than the other one I've only had one one before this one complete one anyway I've had pieces of pattern ones but it's a complete crotal bell and I'll take that so that's a lesson always swing right through the last half hour and that you know and we've just been chatting to the farmer and he said through these woods is uh, an old trackway not familiar <laughs> 